Hmm. Looks like this is the place. But where's... Who are you? Did Maine send you? Whoever you are, you don't look much like a farmer to me. Any reason why you're gracing me with your presence? Is there a reason he should? You don't look worth it. Nishka. Well, it's just the truth. And she asked. Maybe you all better tell me what you're doing here. There's been too many visitors lately, and I really don't have the patience for it anymore. Guess it would have been too much to expect for the Elder to send help. I've been alone out here ever since the others abandoned their farms and took shelter in Highcliff, and I don't know how much longer I can hold out. You're right about that. And if it came to that, I wouldn't. As much as I love this place, I'm supposed to be making the merchant run through Port Last and Ember right now. But with the recent troubles, I can't leave the farm, let alone take the trade road from Highcliff. I can't even move my harvest into town. And if I can't sell it, I won't make it through the year, not to mention the towns counting on the trade. I have friends in Ember and Port Last expecting shipments this season. It's worse than that. I don't know if it's more lizard folk, but no one's come back along that road for a while now. Merchants who take it just vanish, wagons and all. It happens so suddenly and quietly, and the bodies are never found. If you take the road, it's the last journey you'll make. The whole village, and even as far south as Fort Locke is being cut off. If it keeps up, we'll starve, or worse. Not yet, but it's only a matter of time. No one's been killed, luckily enough. Mostly buildings and houses have been burned, but no deaths. That's strange. I would have thought the lizard folk would have tried to kill the farmers first. They tend to, um, eat people, <laughs> from what I've heard. I agree. It is unusual, but the lizard folk may be afraid to push Highcliff too far. Too far? After all this? Don't know how much farther these people can be pushed. Shedding the blood of another tribe is different in lizard folk culture, while destroying objects and homes is more, well, territorial is the best way to put it. Well, no one's been killed yet that I've seen. Just a lot of farms burned and grain destroyed or stolen. There were a few early on, but none lately. Most of the farms have been abandoned before the lizard folk attack. No one wants to be there when they strike. A few months back, I don't know where they've all come from, but suddenly they're swarming all over the place. A few months ago? These tribes may have been driven here from the mayor. Tribes of lizard folk have left the mayor recently, and I don't think it's by choice. Something's driving them out. From the looks of it, they may be ranging farther and farther in search of food. Well, I'm more than willing to leave them alone if they left us alone, but when they start burning homes and crops, well, that's when I get worried. I have a feeling it's going to be a rough season ahead, and they're not making things any better. No, but it must be someplace close by. At first, I thought their lair would be close to the water, but now... Now I'm not so sure, and I wonder if they've set up a camp just for attacking the outlying farms. I doubt it's their main lair. It's too far from water. But I've seen fires up at the old ruins. It's only been in the past few days, though, which is strange since the lizard folk were attacking long before that. It's like something's going on up there. I haven't been able to leave the farm long enough to tell anyone. I guess I was counting on the Elder to actually send help. The ruins up there are of Highcliff Castle, destroyed in a war some time ago. Lots of magic was thrown around, even talk that demons and devils were summoned and fought each other. I thought I felt something. It's in the ground beneath my feet. Traces of it, anyway. There's lots from the war still buried around here. Some farmers can't take a plow to some fields without turning over an old weapon or two. But that's not what has me worried.
Well, yes. I suspect there's a reason that place was never rebuilt. It's always had a strange history. Everyone in Highcliff knows to leave it alone. And there's more than lizard folk troubles nowadays. At least from the tales coming from the Southern Road, don't know if you've heard. There's been sightings of forms walking in graveyards, strange shadows. Some of it could be just local drunks talking, sure, but I've heard tales from merchants as far south as Fort Locke. Plenty, but no marked ones. So many battles were fought here. If the dead decided to walk, there'd be an army in no time. That huge gravesite near Fort Locke? That's one of the smaller ones from the war. Not for years. Some of the children from the village said there's tunnels beneath the keep. You can find an entrance near one of the ruined towers. But aside from seeing the fires up there, I haven't wanted to risk leaving the farm long enough to investigate. William? Actually, yes, I did. And he didn't stop when I called to him. He looked frightened, kept looking back as he ran. I just thought Junie had sent him on some errand. She pushes him a little hard sometimes, but he lets it happen, so I don't have much sympathy. Not much more to tell, but if you want to help, let me just mark the ruins on your map. Why do you have that strange look on your face? Oh, right. Speaking of which, I better get back to keeping watch before... before... My barn! And the harvest! I let down my guard for a second and they were waiting for it. Waiting until I got distracted. And maybe you should go to the Hells. What, you think it was any safer there? Ask a few sailors in town if they agree. This... This farm is all I have. And now that my harvest is gone and with winter coming... Look, if you're going to help, do it. I'm so tired of Neverwinter and Fort Locke and the Militia and the Elder and all of them promising to help us out and nothing ever happening. Just once. Just this once. If you can actually do something for Highcliff, for the farmers here, it'd be long past due. 